Jehovah, Jesus Christ, Michael, Mimo, Baba Dupe Lowore, for of your cookie, at if we pin we say no really, see our white meal, a little fin yon die by four, bop by new one, and no new meal or a toy molly for two ye fair a cool yew, Kali yon yalafia. Lie at it, lie. Oh, it is the month of sanctification once again. And of the truth, we have been able to outline to a little extent the value of sanctification. And like I have told you, the object of sanctification was the Lamb of God. The Lamb of God, even our Lord Jesus Christ, who from the beginning was slain, so that all that God has created will be maintained and sustained. God, knowing aforetime what will come, because this is the God that knows the end from the beginning. So he had the Lamb for the ransom and the redemption of the lives of those who are those is creatures and yet the redemption of all that he proposed for them. So sanctification is of good value, good essence in the life of every Christian, every child of God because by determination in sanctification all that was proposed is redeemed. Everything as and that's why in sanctification, three things are ordered. Three things are, are impressed on the sanctified. That God will sanctify anyone. He has three things. Like the object of sanctification. Let's see the three things. He said, God himself, like we'll quote in Second Chronicles chapter 7, from verse 14. But we are going to 16. He said, if my people, my people who are called by my, called name, by my name would humble themselves, would humble themselves and, pray, and pray and seek my face and, seek my face, and, turn, from their wicked and turn from their wicked ways, then I will forgive them. I will, forgive them. I will hear, them from heaven, hear them from heaven and will forgive their sins, forgive their sins and heal their, heal their land. Now, my eyes will be opened. And my ears attentive to prayer made in this place. Then my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayer made in this place. For now, I have chosen and sanctified this house. For now, the house is sanctified. That my name may be there forever. My name will be there forever. And my eyes and my heart will be there. My eyes will be there. Perpetually. Perpetually and my heart. Three things. Upon every sanctified, every sanctified personality carries the value of those three things. The name, the eyes, and the heart. Let's see three people here. You look at, it was, it was obvious that uh, Aaron was sanctified like we said the other time. Looking at Aaron now. The name of the Lord was on Aaron. The eyes of the Lord was with Aaron. The heart of the Lord was with Aaron. Like God would make the sanctified alone walk with him because he carries his name. He said that they might walk before me perpetually. God said, I have sent the angel of purpose, Exodus 23. 20 and 21, he said, I have sent before you an angel. Behold, Behold, I send an angel before thee. I send an angel before you. To keep thee in the way. Even the angel of purpose to keep you in the way, and in to, your journey into purpose. And to bring thee into the place that And I have to bring you into the place I have proposed. Beware of him. Beware of him. Obey his, voice, obey his voice, provoke him not, provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgression. Will not pardon your transgression. Why? My name is in him. My name. 
So there is only one person who can pacify the angel of his purpose. And that is the man upon whom his name is found. Nobody, everybody, today everybody just begin to alter everything. Like we choose to, uh, God, will, I pray God will help you. I pray those are not the thing. It doesn't work like that. If it is the God of heaven, I guess Anna could pray in the house and they cannot could pray with, with her. Like Jacob prayed. Like uh, Isaac prayed. But no. What concerns God belongs to the sanctified of God. The one God has chosen for that time. And I should say this at this time. When you talk about God, he does not choose two people at a time. The sanctified is always one for a season. That's why upon Aaron alone was the oil poured, not even upon his sons, to sanctify them. To sanctify Aaron. And gave him to be the only one who could go into the presence of God for the people. It is Aaron God will see. It was Aaron God will see and say, I have seen my people. That's why I said when he comes before the Ark of Covenant, he will kneel down and God will speak. So it became a thing that, but for Aaron, the people are not saved. So the people wait. Did God see Aaron? He said, bring him peace. So the high priest was the sanctified. Whoever would rebel, like in the rebellion of Korah and his coming, in number 16, when the people stood against Moses and Aaron, let me see, from verse, from verse 42, now, yes. When the congregation had gathered against Moses and Aaron, they gathered against Moses and Aaron. And they turned toward the tabernacle of meeting. They turned to the tabernacle of meeting. And suddenly, suddenly, the cloud covered it. The cloud covered it. And the glory of the Lord appeared. Oh my God! The glory of the Lord appeared. Then Moses and Aaron came before the tabernacle. They came before the tabernacle of the meeting. And the Lord spoke. The Lord said. said Get away from amongst these people. people. That I may consume them. I want to Moses. consume them. And they fell on their faces. They fell on their faces. So Moses said to Aaron. Moses could not do it. Take a sense. He told the people. sanctified as at that time. Take a sense. And put fire in it. Put fire in it. From the altar. From the altar. Put incense on it. Put incense on it. And take it. Take it. Quickly to the congregation. To the congregation. And make atonement. Make atonement. Pacify the angel of his purpose. Yes? For wrath has gone out. Oh my God. Wrath is out already. The plague has begun. Yes? Then Aaron took it as Moses commanded. Yes? And ran into the midst of the assembly. Yes? And already the plague had begun yes? among the people. Uh-huh. So he put in the incense and made some and made atonement for the people. He made atonement for the people. And he stood between the dead. He stood and between the, the dead and the living. So the plague was stopped. So the plague was stopped. Now those who died in the plague were fourteen thousand seven hundred. The only person who can pacify the angel of the purpose of God for your life is the sanctified of God. So the, the benefit of sanctification, it took the one upon whom the name of God is to pacify the angel of his purpose. Because one of the features of sanctification is name first, is eyes second, the eyes of the Lord. Like he goes everywhere. But when he becomes the sanctified, like God told Samuel in First Samuel chapter sixteen, in the days of the anointment of the, uh, anointment of David, and verse seven, he said what? And, and the Lord said unto Samuel. The Lord said to Samuel, Look not on his countenance. Don't look 
at countenance. Oh, on the height of the statue. On the height of the statue. Because I have refused him. I refuse. It's not about putting your hand on people. It's about who did the Lord choose. The anointed, the sanctified of God must understand the order for anointment. That if the Lord has not chosen anyone, you don't choose that person for God. Hence, it becomes an object of rebellion. Yes? I refused, I refused it. For the Lord said not as a man said. The Lord, the eyes of the Lord. He said, my eyes will be there perpetually. The Lord see not as the man sees. For man looketh on the outward appearance. You will only see the outward appearance. For the Lord looketh on the heart. So Papa will say is this. A bami no ju. A bami bo ju fo. When I see something, put your eyes on that thing. When I ignore something, ignore that thing. But it was it was the other way around. We are always careful to look at what he ignored and ignore what he looked at. The third feature, the heart of God, is always with the sanctified. Let me choose David this time. As our passage of thirteen, the Bible say, Paul, uh, Paul was talking there. What what did he say? Verse twenty two, I guess. And when he had removed him, he raised up for them David as king. God removed Saul to raise David as the king. To whom also he gave testimony and said, The testimony of the Lord was as touching David. Does that I have found David the son I of Jesse. I found David, the son of Jesse. A man after my own A man that will walk after my heart. Who will do all my will. Performing my will. All my will. All. But it was, it was uh, in the case of Uriah, David faltered. And God, when we place David on the table of men, you say, David the adulterer, David the this, David the that, David, you give David every name. But look, God only saw one. Just one of his transgressors. Transgression. God did not see two. He made his testimony again in, in the Kings, Kings chapter 15. God was making a testimony there. Verse 3. He said, Yeah. And he walked in all the sins of his father. Yes. Which he had done before him. Yes. His heart was not loyal to the Lord. God. His heart was not loyal to the Lord his God. As of the heart of, the, of his father David. As of the heart of his father David. Nevertheless, nevertheless. For David's sake, the Lord his God gave him a lamp in Jerusalem. God gave him because of David. God gave him a lamp in Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Uh -huh. Setting up his son after him and establishing Jerusalem. Yes. Because David did what was right in the eyes of the Lord. A man after my heart who will do all my will. David did all that is right in the sight of the Lord. And had not turned aside from him. Never turned aside from anything that he commanded. Anything him. that God commanded him. All the days of his life. All the days of his life. Except in the matter except of the Hittites. In one. What 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 a, a language? What a what a line for the anointed. For the sanctified. When Aaron will sin, in Numbers 20, the sin of Moses and Aaron, God said, you did not sanctify me. It is only the sanctified that can sanctify God. And the, and the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron, because ye believe me not, you do not believe me, to sanctify me in the eyes Sancti of the children of so Israel. So, for the sanctified, the anointed, to sanctify the Lord. You will believe the Lord and do according to his command. By the time you waver, you use your discretion, you use your, your mental faculty to adjust and amend. Uh, God may talk like this. That is heaven. This is the earth. We have our way. We do things. Don't forget the Bible says the earth is the Lord's. 
and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. If God owns everything and he purchased and redeemed the sanctified by his anointing with the object of sanctification, every sanctified, like I said, it's only almost one for a time, not two. God does not like we have many sanctified, now everybody just shouts, Sanctify, sanctify. I'm sanctified of the Lord. No, God is not that common. The spirit of sanctification does not move in that manner. It's one person, and by him, all people will be turned to the Lord, all men will be seen of the Lord just by one person. Like in the days of David, that's 1 Samuel 16. As soon as David was anointed, go from verse 14. For the Spirit of the Lord go, go, him. go from verse 12. So he sent and brought him in. He sent and brought David in. Now he was Rudy. Rudy. With bright eyes. Bright eyes. And good looking. Good looking. And the Lord said. The Lord said. Arise. Arise. Anoint him. Anoint him. For this is the one. This is the one. Then Samuel took the horn of the oil. Samuel took the horn of the oil and anointed him in the anointed of David in the midst of his brothers. And the spirit of the Lord came upon David. The spirit of the Lord came upon him from that day forward. From that day forward. So Samuel arose and went to Ramah. Yes. For the spirit of the Lord departed from Samuel. immediately. God does not. There is no contention in anointing. Hence, there will be disorderliness. Everybody just shout, I'm anointed. The Lord has said to me, the Lord has said, no, no, no. The, the, if it is the true Lord of the Bible days, he will do it for one person through whom all will be raised. And that's why Korah, Datan, and the rest were raised by Moses, putting the spirit of Moses on them. But unfortunately, they turned and became who they chose to be. And it's always like that. Rebellion. If God has not commanded, it's anointed. No matter what the anointed, the, the, the prerequisite, the, no matter the standards, the anointed choose to go for. If it would take away the eyes of the, if it would take away the name of the Lord, the eyes of the Lord and the heart of the Lord, don't, don't be worried. Don't, don't trouble yourself. It will culminate into rebellion. And that's why today you find a lot of people re, uh, standing against the one that ordained them. It would always be. The Quran and that and said, God did not anoint them, God did not ordain them. It was Moses. And that's why God said, Go and choose for yourself. The people you think or you see are good enough. Bring them. I'll put your spirit on it. My spirit, no, will be with you, Moses. Sanctification. The man God sanctified is, all, like I said, once, one person for all. Like that Hebrew chapter 5 said, God chose the high priest. It's always the high person. There are priests. For every high priest taken from amongst every men, every high priest is taken from amongst men. Is appointed from for men. Appointed for men. In the things pertaining to in God. things that pertain to God. That he may offer both gifts and sacrifices for sin. Yes. He can have compassion on those who are ignorant and going astray. Yes. Since he himself is also subject to weakness. He's a man subject to weakness. Yes. Because of this, he is required as for the people. So also for himself. Because of this, it's required as for the people and for himself to offer sacrifices, to for, offer sin. sacrifices for sin. God will not fail. He, everything, if you begin to, if you want to regard God, understand that whatever you hear him say once, that thing will stand perpetually. The eternal God has his feature in his word. So every word of God is an eternal word. 
you know today christianity we are we are trying to blend to the taste of the world um, we cannot be doing it this way we can improvise or we can so when you look at the object of sanctification and the feature of sanctification feature of the object you see the value in the value of sanctification nobody nothing Psalm 105 says he rebukes king he suffers no man to do them wrong he permitted no one to do them wrong. Yes, he rebuked, rebuked rebuking kings. For their sake. That's a serious value. God placed his value. When he sanctified, the anointed and sanctified would only is is uh, the the ability is in him to sanctify others. God will not sanctify all the people. No. He will sanctify the people through his anointed. Because he's the one in, unto whom is name. And by the time he sanctifies the people, the name of the Lord is conferred on them. Wherever they go, like Micah will say in chapter 4, and verse 2 to 5, Many nations shall come and say, come, come, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. Let's go up to the mountain of the Lord. To the house of the God, the of, house of, the God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways. It, one of the, the, the major thing you came to the church, the temple of the Lord, to, for, is to be taught. When you come into his presence to worship, you are there to learn to be taught. Not to begin to tell God what you wish for. Uh, this you, you want to rearrange the form, the mood, like we do today. Anyone can come with any innovation and say we, we add that one to worship, to worship session. Everything is added. You have come, everyone that comes into worship is there one to learn of God. To be taught of God, He will teach us. And we shall walk in he will teach us of His ways, of his ways and, we shall walk in his path. and we will walk in His path. Yes. For out of Zion, the Lord shall go forth. Yes. And the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Yes. He shall judge between many people. Judging between many people. And rebuke strong nations afar off. Rebuking many nations afar off. They shall beat their swords into plowshares. Yes. And their spears into uh -huh. Nations shall not lift up a sword against nations. Yes. Neither shall they learn war anymore. Uh -huh. But everyone shall sit under his vine. Everyone shall sit under his vine. And under his fig tree. His fig tree. And no one shall make them afraid. Nobody will make them afraid. The Those who have learned of God, they will judge and command nations. Yes. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The mouth of the Lord spoke it. Uh -huh. All people walk. Every people will walk in the name of their God. But we walk in the name of the Lord. Jesus. So the first thing that comes upon the people is his name. The people sanctified of the sanctified. His name. No wonder David being sanctified came before Goliath in 1 Samuel chapter 17. Verse 45. And he said, You come to me with all these things. Then said David, to the Philistine, David said to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword. You came to me with sword. And with a spear. spear and with a shield. shield. But I come to thee in the name of the Lord of God. Because I have something that is superimposed on anything. Even the name. I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you defiled. And he said, This day will the Lord deliver thee into my hand. You know, when, you have, when you have the name of the Lord upon you, all enemies are delivered into your hands. Every rebellious character is delivered at your foot. No one is able to Giving the grace to overcome you as the sanctified. 
as you walk in the name of the Lord. Being conscious of his commands. David, with the name of the Lord, left his commands like, 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 we, like he was read. Just once. In that first Kings 15, we saw. And after he had a curse on his life. And Absalom came and pursued David. But guess what? He can only pursue. He would never overcome David. And he never did. To be sanctified. It's a very, very, it's the height of God's intention. As I say, purpose by intention. Purpose by his counsel. He decided, I have chosen this man. Like he said in Isaiah 46, 11, he said, I will call the man from my father, the man that will do that which I propose. I'll call him. Calling. Declare the end from the beginning. Yes. From ancient times, the things that are not yet done. Yes. Saying, My counsel shall stand. My counsel will stand. And I will do all my prayers. Uh -huh. Calling the revenants back from the east. Yes. The man that executed my counsel from the The man that will execute my counsel from a far country. No matter where he is. I'll bring him out. Yes? Yea, I have spoken it. Uh -huh. I will also bring it to pass. Yes. I have proposed it. Uh -huh. I will do it. That is the way God works. Is that it? Your, your prayers can do a little without sanctification. That's why we have found with people getting into prophetic. God did not send them there. They send them there, they send them because they thought they have studied the Bible and then they can begin to pray. They go on mountains and talk nonsense. And the only thing they gave you is to say, if you can shout amen, as you say amen, amen does not work there. They were supposed to say amen to your own prayer. They are amen to answer your prayers. Not that you they will pray and your, your, uh, you will say amen. When it becomes the sins of God, they only need to, Eli said to Anna, amen. It was for the amen of Eli that God said, my sanctified has said something. Let it be. Even if God made Anna barren, the amen of Eli satisfied the condition. And God said, you are released. And Eli answered and said, yes. go in peace. Go in peace. And the God of Israel grant thee thy petition. That's all. Amen. He did not say, and you would, you will bring, you will bring forth Messiah. You shall be. He, did, he had no business. Just say Amen. It behoves God. It, when we look at sanctification, the way God commanded it, that's why it was done before the creation of the world. At the beginning. And in the, in the latter days, the body of Jesus, the Lamb of God, accomplished that which was done. I know some people, God will, he will not accomplish his work. He will perfect his work. Being perfected does not mean it's accomplished. That the earth has buried in it gold, silver, that's perfected. It is you or the person who God will send that will bring it out and take it through the process and then it's accomplished. No wonder Jesus came and said that the one that came that was sanctified to be sent said, my meat is to do the will of he that sent me. You know, he was sanctified and sent. John chapter 4. Uh, yes. Is that 34? Jesus said to them, he said to them, My food is to do the will of him that sent me. That sent. He, he was sanctified to be sent. And to finish his work. And to finish his work. God perfected his works. And he was perfected in all his works. Mm -hmm. But until the one that he sanctified 
and sent came. Accomplishment was missing. Finishing was missing. God understands his ways. No wonder he sanctified the one he called. The one he chose. In sanctification, your ways are redirected. You are realigned in the way. You are fo David was following the course of uh, the, the shepherd boy. But God, God decided, yes, you have been a shepherd. Look at, look at Moses first. Moses, trained in the house of Pharaoh, came out, become a shepherd. That was not his training. He became a shepherd. God, after he was fully trained and mastered shepherdhood, God called to him and he directed this path. You were supposed to, I have called you to be the savior of Israel, the deliverer of Israel. Go now. He said, God, I, I cannot talk. Um, he said, keep quiet. You will go. That is your official duty. That is the assignment for which you are called. I have sanctified you for that. You have to go. Go, bring them out. And when he got to the place, he said, Worshipping, Aaron will stand before me. Sanctify him for me. When you are sanctified, the Spirit of God comes on you. When you are sanctified, the word of God is given to you. Whatever you say. No wonder I said his heart and his heart, eyes. His heart talked about his wish, his will, his commandments. So he puts his word, like he did to Jeremiah in chapter 1. He said, and the Lord, from verse 7. But the Lord said to me, The Lord said to me, Do not say, I am a youth. Yes. For you shall go to, you shall go to, you. yes. And whatever I command you, you shall speak. Yes. Do not be afraid of their faith. Uh -huh. For I am with you. Go to verse 9. Then the Lord put forth his hand. He put forth his hand. And Touch my mouth. And, said, and, he said and he said, Behold, I have put my word in your mouth. My word. See. My counsel. My wish. My purpose. My commandment. See. I have this day set you over the nation. I will not set two of you. You, this day. To root out and to pull down. Yes. To destroy and to throw down. To build. Jeremiah, are you talking about the people? This day, I have made you. To Isaiah, he gave the ministration of the Christ, of the Messiah. I sanctified you to know this thing. And if you look at the book of Isaiah very well, Isaiah taught most of the Messiah, that's why they call him the Messiah prophet. But before he could uh, come to that, chapter 6, something happened there. In Isaiah chapter 6, from verse 5. And then I, then said I, I said, who is me? Who is me? For I am undone. When he saw the heavens, he saw God in his glory. He said, who is me? I am undone. Because I am a man of unclean lips. I am a man of unclean lips. And I dwell in the midst of, dwell in the midst of unclean lips. lips. For my mind. My eyes have seen the king. I saw the king. The Lord of hosts. The Lord of hosts. Then flew one of his seraphims unto me. They flew from heaven to him. Having a live coal in his hand. A live coal in his hand. She had taken with a tongue from off the altar. The altar of heaven and the altar of the earth. The altar of the earth was given to Aaron. The altar of heaven. Those who worship there, they took the coal. Moses said, take the censer. Put fire in it. And atone for the people. And put in sense. Now he said, he took fire, yes? And he laid it upon my mouth. He laid it on my mouth. And said, and said look, look, this has touched my lips. It touched your lips. lips. And that iniquity is taken away. One, your iniquity is taken away. And I sin purged. Oh my God. You are sanctified. Then they say, a voice came. Also, I heard a voice of the Lord saying, saying, whom 
shall I say? I want to talk about the Messiah. I want to give insight of the Messiah. Eh? And who will go for us? Who will go for us? Just said I. I was, then he was able to open his mouth and talk and say, Here am I. Send me. You have pushed me. You sanctified me. Send me. Everyone that is sanctified is sent for a purpose. By the counsel of the Lord. So sanctification has a great deal in the life of any man that is a purpose. By the spirit of sanctification, a lot of things are happening. God knew what he wanted. And nothing will change the mind of God. We have tried in every way to twist God to, to do our will, to perform all in the name of God. This is the problem. We wear the name of God to do things against God. That is what we wear the name of the toga of his name. Not every man can pray and intercede on your behalf, except the one that God chose and sanctified. So that the people can appease the angel of his presence, mm -hmm. the angel of his purpose, and then he will be appeased. Instead of continuing wrath, wrath will be taken away because of the atonement by the hand of the sanctified. We want to discuss a figure, a character of this time. A character of God's purpose. A great character is that that God chose for such a time as this. Who though he were away now to be with the Lord in heaven, yet his work speaks and his name continued. That character is none other. than the Reverend El Pastor, one and only of the Celestial Church of Christ, that God by himself sanctified and sent to the world. In such a period as this, in such a period as this, God decided in on the May 23rd to sanctify a man in the forest and sent him out, brought him out, and he directed the course of his life. A little preview into that story. He was a man born as we were born. He was a man tweeted as we were tweeted. Grew from being a boy, desired of the Lord by his father, and called Samuel because God granted the wish. The father prayed, God, give me a son, and I'll give him to your service. And God answered, and he was named after the Samuel of the Bible, Samuel. And God chose to train him by the uh, uh, Methodist catechist or catechism. Until he grew and became a boy in uh, primary six. 
But because they were instructed to do to build bricks, and uh, they refused. Because they say they all will say we we came to study, we didn't go to to build bricks. We are no builders. They were sent away. As the purpose of his life, the arrow of his life was thwarted, redirected, out of focus. God knew what he wanted to do to the man of purpose, to the man of sanctification. There is no error. Everything is tending towards the same thing. And God, through his father, taught him to be a carpenter. Yes. Because he will walk the world, and the, the work of the power of the blood of Jesus. He became, he learned like Jesus learned. You know when Jesus was taken from, was a, uh, Seen in the temple, Luke chapter 2, from verse 45. He, he, he came back home when he was, what, what was there? What and is they there? Found him not. They found him not. They turned back again to Jerusalem. They came to the temple again. Seeking him. Yes. And it came to pass. Yes. And after three days, three days, they found him in the temple. Temple. Sitting in the midst of the doctors. Uh -huh. But hearing them. Hearing, hearing them. And asking them questions. Asking questions. Yes. And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answered. Yes. And when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I sought thee sorrowing. And he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Why sought ye me? We see not that I must about my father's business. We see not that I must be at my father's business. And they understood not the same. They never understood him, him. yes. And he went down with them and came to Nazareth. Yes. And was subject unto them. Uh -huh. But his mother kept all these sayings in her heart. You see it. He was subject unto them and he began to learn the trade of Joseph. Carpentry. SBJ like his master. Learned carpentry. And uh, every young man would desire money. He saw himself in the carpentry uh, line as somebody who will become the slave of the world. But no, I want to be a, a man of um, a, 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 of great uh, wealth. So he decided to be a businessman. God knew what he wanted to do for, with him. He had a purpose for himself. You see, today we preach to ourselves and say, you must have a purpose for your life. No, you must require God. Request from God. Require of him the purpose for your life. And as we did, we became a businessman. And God waited. He became, a, he is now getting involved seriously in the business until the time appointed of the father and he went on such trips from february to march and march to april and april to may it was a miss for three months until god came for his sanctification on the day desired History has it that there was an eclipse on the 20th of May. But he said on the 23rd of May. That is not a thing for now. God came to sanctify him. A sanctification was done in no word. Luli. That's a perfect word. And I remember they said he was the, the, he saw three things. A snake, a peacock, 
and um, a white monkey with wind, wings. And he said, that white monkey said to him, Lu Li. And by the mouth of the same white monkey, the interpretation came. Lu Li means the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he flew away. <laughs> what a life. What a mystery. No wonder when you read the constitution, he said, he said in, in section, in page two, and section two, the divine order, on the 29th of September, in the deep mystery of divine appearance, this of the vision he had of the monkey, of the snake, of the peacock, was a divine appearance. That divine appearance was culminated again on September 29th. By that alone, God redirected the arrow of his life from where it was to be a from where it was against purpose back into purpose. How do I mean? He came into the forest as a businessman with a business mentality. But God said, I have sanctified you to be an early pastor. The pastor of God. The shepherd of his people, of his sheep. It was not that what business cannot come into that. Hence, he made sure all his hands were devoid were clean of any business. He was not into business with anything God gave him. Today, everything we call church. It's all about business. Every single thing God gave is about business. God called him out of business and he left business to follow God. What a life. On the second leg, God bring him back his... his uh, the arrow of his life, because when I say the arrow of his life, you know the Bible says in the Psalms, it says children are God's heritage. Psalm 127. Is that verse 3? Children are God's heritage. And the fruit of his womb is his reward. The fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man. As arrow in the hand of a mighty man. So are children of the youth. So are children of the youth. As arrows. Each, each of us are arrows in the hand of the mighty man. You have a purpose. You have an answer. You have made an answer to a question. The question he came to answer on earth was to lead the people of God. God, the, mother, the father said, I'll give him to your service. And God chose, he will lead my people. Not in business. Not in creative arts. Not in uh, 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 educational or philosophical uh, 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 way, but in the spiritual. He will be given the toga of the spiritual mantle to lead my people aright. And God did not disappoint himself. And I thank God that they never disappointed God. Even the, the, uh, man, the race of man, he did not disappoint any. He stood in the spirit, by the spirit, 
for the people. God directed the course of his life, the arrow. He went into a, 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 the the into the forest. According to what is obtained, what is obtainable, the forest, the way into the forest is in Kutonu. And the way out of the forest is in Ajashe. What what a disparity. It was paddled by a paddler into the forest. But he came out being paddled by the Holy Spirit. And he came out in Agoge. Agoge, you can only enter Agoge through Ajashe. Not through Kutonu. But you can assess the forest in Kutonu. What a God. This is the man we want to look at. And that we will surely do. Happy listening. God be with us. <laughs>